Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so just when you thought it was too good to be true, the Cabal Elites pull, almost pulled the rug underneath us here. Um, you know, markets are trying to recover now, but uh, as you guys saw, Bitcoin had reached a new all-time highs by hitting 69,000. All right, um, actually hit 69,007. And then all of a sudden, all the social media platforms go into a blackout. What con what what a coincidence, isn't it? So, uh, and I and I did tweet here. The moment this happened, several social media platforms, not just several, literally almost all of them, except for Twitter X, um, platforms go down. Cabal are sick people. This was on purpose to stop the momentum of Bitcoin, stop the momentum of cryptos. Cryptocurrencies were going crazy. Bitcoin was going to new highs and they were angry, right? Some of these cabal members and some of these elitists that, that, are, that control these platforms, these social media platforms are angry. The government, of course, American government and other governments around the world that want to enslave people in their agenda 2030. Um, they, they're not they're not happy with you know these prices of Bitcoin going to the upside and, and altcoins going to the upside and people making money and people uh, making five six seven figures here and uh, and so they they wanted to try to stop in any way shape or form so they said uh, let's let's uh, shut down the social media platforms and so let so everybody can start talking about the social media platforms put fear in people and that will cause the markets to sell off right and so that's what happened. Okay, so it's not it's not hard. They've done this before, um, and so I'm pretty sure it was several years ago they did this before. Um, and uh, and Coinbase always does this, right? So every time Bitcoin goes up like this, Coinbase always shuts down, right? So it's almost like 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 they built it inside of their um um or their their codes, right? To to every time Bitcoin surges like four or five percent to 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 make sure Coinbase shuts down. And then and then have them say, oh, we're working on it, you know, quickly come out and say, oh, we're working on it. It's just uh, heavy traffic. It's like, dog, why does this always happen? You know, why doesn't Binance shut down every time Bitcoin surges? Why doesn't KuCoin shut down? They have heavy traffic as well. It's almost as if it's embedded into their codes to shut down when Bitcoin does that, when Bitcoin runs up that much. Um, that's what I believe is going on on Coinbase. That's what they've been doing this for, since 2016. You would think that they would have somebody capable of fixing the issue by now, but no, they can't. They, they, they want to continue to do that because it allows them to control the price of Bitcoin without Bitcoin controlling them, right? So if Bitcoin, if Bitcoin jumps too much for them, they could bankrupt them, you know what I mean? Because they probably don't have enough money in their in their accounts to pay everybody right so they have to make sure they manipulate bitcoin so it's the same thing here um the cabal trying to control bitcoin trying to control the the, the crowd don't like when the crowd is making too much money and and, and 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 are cashing out and showing off their wallets and stuff and so they want to make sure that they that the, the, it tries to come down to trying to liquidate people um you know stuff like that so that's what's going on here we also, uh, it's also Super Tuesday, by the way. Um, so Super Tuesday, uh, it, all the uh, media, social media platforms going down on a Super Tuesday as well. That is what a coincidence on that as well, right? So um, 
and nobody cares about the Democratic side because nobody's really running on that side. Uh, on the Republican side, it's Nikki Haley uh, and um, Ron already dropped out and Donald Trump. So Nikki Haley's still hanging in there for you know their life, but um, Donald Trump is there, and everybody that's all everybody cares about is Donald Trump and uh, Super Tuesday for Donald Trump here, and um, and nobody cares about anything on the Democratic side because they just think Joe Biden's going to be there even though we, there's been a lot of rumors that um you know that somebody else is going to come in there or like michelle obama's going to finally say you know what i've had enough of this let me run um but you know if you if you're going to run you would already have done it now because now if you if you do it after these primaries and everything you're going to be kind of you're going to be kind of way too late you know um and um yeah so this is going to that i mean i don't know if, if I was Michelle Obama, I'm not. If, if I'm if I'm not running now, I'm not. I'm not gonna run la later. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, there's no campaigning. There's no. There's no. You know. I mean, it, you have to. It, it it doesn't. You can't just be a one hit wonder where you just come out of nowhere and just run, right? It, it doesn't work that way. Um, you got you got you have to tell you you have to um you know. Do do the groundwork, you know. You just can't just show up. I guess she's gonna try to just show up and win. Maybe that's their plan. I I don't know. Maybe their plan is to you know this isn't working. Let's just have Ob Michelle Obama show up and try to win, which is gonna be awful in my opinion. I mean that you're not. There's I don't know anybody who can just show up and win an election like that uh, without telling us without going through her the groundwork. Um, you know, what's her agenda for America's future, agenda for the military, agenda for Medicaid, Medicare. Like, you have to put the groundwork in for all that stuff. You know, you can't just show up and run for president, right? So there's a lot that goes into being a being uh, the, 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 the president, you know. And so you can't just show up and say, I want to run for president, and there's no groundwork there's no team. There's no groundwork. We don't know what you stand on. We don't know what you're standing for going forward. So, anyways, that's going to be really interesting to see what the Democrats do there. Right now is Joe Biden, but does anybody think believe that Joe Biden's going to be able to do another four years after what we've seen this this four years? Most of us don't think so, but you know, you never know. He he's, he surprised us so far. He he made it through four years. He wasn't supposed to. They were supposed to remove him uh, after the first year and then put um, Kamala in it. That was the plan of the elites. But Kamala was so horrible that they they had to neglect, they had to bail on that, um, and and she couldn't get along with Joe Biden or his administration, and her people were were quitting as well. It was awful right so there was tensions in the white house between her and joe biden and and her staff members were quitting as well so they they couldn't transition her uh to to the presidency because nobody liked her so and uh and so yeah so that was kind of weird so that was the plan but that, that didn't happen so they had to stick with joe biden and now uh you know she she's been talking about yeah, I'm ready to become president. I'm ready to become president. I'm ready to step in and become president because, but the doctor said Joe Biden's, um, you know, Joe Biden's okay to continue to, to finish this off. And, and God told us, he told apostle that we need to be praying. He told apostle Solomon that we need to be praying that Joe Biden finishes this term because it's going to be really bad if, if Kamala, if Kamala has to come in there, uh, you know, it, it will be really bad for America. So, um, so yeah, so let's continue to pray that Joe Biden, even if we don't even like Joe Biden being as president, but we, we got to make sure that he finishes his term because God said it would be better for us if he finishes his term, uh, as president than having Kamala in there, uh, because if Kamala gets in there, all H-E-L-L -L will break loose, right? So, so let's see, you know, so anyways, um, so that's what's going on, and uh, so yeah, so no coincidence there that the uh, that the media, social media platforms that are led by the cabalists, um, not saying that uh, X isn't a cabalist because it is, you know, uh, Elon Musk is a cabal is a cabal agent as well, um, but you know he's on the side of the uh, he's on the other side though. Him and Trump on the other side. I know he would keep saying Trump is not this and that trump is they're, they're all part of the same thing they're just on the other sides 
you know, there, there, there's, there's people that want to run the, the, the country and the world a different way. And there's other people that want to run the country, uh, in a, in a different way, right? So the, the, the 2030 agenda, um, cabalists want to control the entire world, enslave the world, enslave people. And then you have the people, you have the other side of the elitist cabalists, which is the Trump side, Elon Musk, Trump. Uh, Putin side where they want to, uh, they don't want to control the world, uh, like, like minions and stuff like that. They, they rather do nationalism, um, be proud of your own country, control your own country and, and, and uh, and, and, um, you know, and be proud of your country and, 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 and do things in that way. So there, there's two different sides of it, uh, all part of the same family. These guys are all family, uh, bloodlines and all types of stuff. You, you don't get to these places without being that or they would have already took you out. So, um, there's no frauds in here, right? So they don't, except for, except for the, uh, Joe Biden imposters that we keep seeing all the clone Joe Bidens, but, uh, and that's part of the Illuminati card there, um, with the imposter Joe Biden card. So anyways, um, uh, but that doesn't mean that, um, you know, they, they don't want, um, you know, you know, Trump's the Trump side wants, uh, humanity to be able to be uh, free to a certain extent and be able to, uh, rep their countries and have nationalism and, uh, protect their borders. Right. And uh, unfortunately, the Obama side and Obama, Biden, Clinton's and stuff want to actually open borders, dis destruction, war and uh, complete control over humanity um, and enslavement of humanity. So it all depends on which side you like, <laughs> which side you, you want. So anyways, that's what's going on. Um, let me see here. It says uh, 15 states go to the poll for. Uh, major social media platforms uh, go down. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Oh, the only one that didn't go down was um was uh, X. X didn't go down. So, uh, you know, it's <laughs> uh, X didn't go down. If you're reading this post, it's because our servers are working. <laughs> you know, you can only, so it wasn't. This is not a mistake, guys. This is on purpose. So all these cabalist uh, companies. All were going all went down, except for X, right? So it's all designed, it's all planned. Peace out, God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.